Hey YouTube, this is Rocco from Rocco's Outdoor World and I'm out here in one of my favorite spots from last season, Brim Fishing. Um, me and Pops is together. Pops is gonna try to catch some crappie. Um, but me personally, I'm gonna try to catch some Brim shell crackers, Warmots. I have live red worms. Um, the store didn't have no crickets and crickets are my favorite. So y'all stay, stay with me, watch me, enjoy me. And hopefully, I'll be able to catch some brim. It look like a shell cracker. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty good saddle. I always remember, guys, you got to hook them before you cook them. Remember that. First one of the season. Man, it felt good. That felt good. <coughs> so can we get over there and catch another? Let me catch another one, guys. Let me scrape my boat back up. Oh, got another one, guys. Another shell cracker. You've got to hook them before you cook them. Wow. That was pretty quick. Let's catch another one. Hopefully. See if we can catch another one. <clears throat> and guys, I'm catching those off red worms. I'm fishing maybe three feet, maybe. Oh, guys, I went over there, <clears throat> got tangled up. We got some here, guys. We got a broom. Ah, he thorn me. Whoo, that's gonna hurt. Ah, nice broom. Wow, that hurt. I'm fighting this wind. Can't sit still. Every time I get in a good spot, a gush of wind come. Wow, that hurts. That's gross. Let's see, can we catch another one out of there? I think Pops better try to catch some brim. Cause I don't, I don't even think he, I don't even hurt him over there nothing with a crappy. I don't know if that was a, a hang up or a fish. It felt kind of funny, but I'm unsure. So I'm not gonna throw back down there. It 
it looks like something should be over here in this hole. I go off instinct when I try to find a fish. I mean, <coughs> I'll just look at it like if all the fish, man, I know I hide up on the hill. Oh, we got a little squirrel over there. That's weird. Down here at the back part of the lake, now trying. The water looked it looked kind of calm back here, so I'm just gonna see what what happens. Oh man, mister. That little fish right there. A, a little miss? A little grim. Yeah, huh? No, he ain't, he ain't pulling like no little one, but I barely can see him. The little tortoise. The turtle turtle.
catfish bait, man. What's going on? Can't catch a decent size. I mean, I'm just gonna have to leave if the if the little ones is back because I don't want to feed them bait all day. came out here on the river guys um, and found a spot where the wind was blowing and I'm back in a little cut so maybe I can catch a fish because I can sit still now I mean this wind is terrible I'm telling you
All right, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. We caught a couple of fish on camera for you guys. If you're not already subscribed to that, this channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, share this video, turn on the bell, post notification. And I appreciate you guys for watching once again, but if you subscribe to this channel, this is only the beginning of what you're going to see all summer long. And this Rocco, and I thank you for watching. I'm out. You're not scared of it. How you want to do it? You ever how you do it? Not in the bank. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Biggie! Yeah, what are you ready to be called, Six. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's up? Oh, that, that, oh, that, oh, that, that dog tied that young. Yeah, huh? That's seven. I'm gonna eight. Eight, that good, that good for the first time, eight. Man, I mean, what you want, man? All right, you two. I set aside two brim just to show you how I cook my fish. You might do your different. Um, but if you do, drop in the comments or give me a recipe for if you want to see me try it, I'll try it and taste it. But first, I like to salt my fish. Not too much salt, just enough to taste. And then I, I just a little bit of Old Bay, just a little bit. That's how I do, just a little bit. Um, and then I like, of course, my black pepper. Okay, then you want to flip the fish and do the same thing to this side. I cut slits in my fish on the thicker side just to make sure the grease get all the way down in there and have it firm. I like my fish firm. I don't like mushy fish. Okay, got my old bay. All right, now over here, over here, I have some seafood bread and a little bit of flour. I like to combine the two. Um, is that just me? I like to combine the two. I mean, everybody do theirs a little different. Okay. Just mix it up. Just, you know, you don't have to be perfect. Just mix it up. All right. So. There we go. I'm bringing the grease up the temperature. So y'all just bear with me. Just bear with me. I'll be right back. Okay, I gave this fish a dip right here in the bread. And I like to fry mine this side down first. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Just want to flour it good, batter it good, not flour, but that's how I do mine. Really, I don't really cook the fish like that, but All right, guys, so I've been frying it on this side for about three minutes, so I'm gonna flip them. Look at that, look at that. Ooh-wee! As Rocco will say, you got to hook them <laughs> before you cook them. And boy, these some nice brim here. So while we're waiting, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, fly with this side. For these two. We're almost done, guys. Alright, guys. We're gonna take these these two out. They are done. That's 
what I call a good crispy fish there. Right, we're gonna drop these last two sides right here. We'll be right back with you. All right, guys, we have our brim done. We have our slice of bread and our hot sauce, and we're about to dig in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Rocco's Outdoor World. Thanks. Bye.